Yo, what the fuck is up, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Showman, back here today. We get another trove video on the Xbox, and if this sounds a little bit different, it is because it is a little bit different. I actually moved around my entire room so I can, uh, you know, stream for later tonight, which I'll get to in just a second. But as of right now, uh, we are onside trove, or onside, we are inside trove here, we're inside with the little guts. We've got to press F7 on my keyboard over here because I completely forgot to turn that off. Just wanted, you know, nice visuals. There appears to be a quest on the right side, but if you go to your welcome, there is no talk of a quest at all. I'm not really sure where the fuck it came from. I'm guessing it's called Awakening the Dawn, because it's Awakening the Dawn when I have eight. Um, I was not expecting that. It's not really that hard to click the sunlight bulbs and stuff like that. I mean, I could do it real quick for you guys, but it doesn't really seem that difficult. It's just That's just right off the bat, though, in my opinion. So, I mean, we could go help. We can, we can go look for that while I talk about the stuff I have to do today. So, uh, oh, God, what biome has a bunch of those? Hmm, I thought one biome had a bunch. Well, let's go to U7. It's not that big of a deal, but... Sadly, I'm not the Shadow Hunter because if I wasn't a Shadow Hunter, it would speed up the process quite a bit. So, anyways, to today's video. Uh, I'm moving around my stuff. Tonight, I will be streaming on Twitch TV forward slash Mr. Professor Snowman, which is the same name as my uh, YouTube name. So, if you guys want, go on uh, YouTube, or not go, not, not go on YouTube, fuck me in my ass. Go on Twitch, type in Mr. Professor Snowman, and follow the channel. I will be live streaming at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, if you guys watch my videos for quite a while now, you know that my videos go up at 5.30. This one's going to go up a little bit earlier so I can warn you guys before you know, I actually start streaming. Um... It's going to go up like maybe half hour after I uh, actually usually upload all my videos. So that's really interesting as well. So definitely tune in for that. It's going to be good shit. If you guys were in my last couple live streams, they were pretty lit, man. Like the community, you guys are insane. Like everyone was just making jokes and like talking shit, roasting each other. It was, just, it was awesome. It was, it was a really fun time. What the absolute fuck is going on in my goddamn game right now? What is that? All right, we're just going to ignore that, I guess. I can just fly away like nothing ever happened, but... I mean, if you're wondering why, why I'm on my gun sing right now is because I don't feel like playing the night, and you guys can bet your ass I did not get my night level 30 because I'm the laziest piece of shit, and I do not hop in this game because Warframe is better. I like Warframe, goddammit. But uh, usually I play on my TV. I moved it over here so I can play on my BenQ monitor, and I will have to set up my two other... Well, I have uh, my monitor set up. Well, I have my BenQ. I have the HDMI for my Xbox and for my computer going into my BenQ so I can, like, switch it around. But I might even set up a third monitor for my computer just to have, like, you know, extra space over here. Because uh, I don't really like switching it on and off from each HDMI because I'm that fucking lazy. Even though it's literally, I'm going to have to move at all. I can just move up, press one button, and everything will be back to normal. But, you know, your boy Swan's too fucking lazy to do that, okay? I want two screens on command at one time, all right? That's how I roll here. Um, the good news is it's not bombs just or it's not blocks destroyed anymore, which is amazing because now I can actually buy bombs and they won't be overpriced as an absolute fucker because you know people like to run up the market plates, the market plates, the marketplace when I yeah when it's bombs when it's not bombs when it's blocks destroyed. So I mean I go fuck myself, but Jesus Christ! All right, the leaderboards look like cancer this week, so I'm probably not gonna end up doing them anyways. But all I have to do is just collect these or actually get mine them down. Because I'm about to just buy 200 of these, honestly, because uh, I'm pretty sure like around 140, 150 of these spawn in each different like biome, which is kind of shitty. Well, not each biome, but like each plant, which is kind of shitty. I don't really see why they can't just like have mass amounts here, because uh, I remember this used to be a pretty good flux farm, and then everybody started doing it, because there were so many videos and tutorials on YouTube, and along with like the Shapestone, everything just got like absolute shit on. I made a Shapestone video of like eight months ago, so I mean, I can't really uh, contribute to that, I, can't, I mean, I definitely did not help out the situation whatsoever, I think it has like 60 or 70,000 views at this point, but Jesus Christ, uh, that, that that was my fine editing, my fine commentary, and all that good stuff as well, like Jesus Christ, you guys, if you haven't seen that, which I'm pretty sure live you've seen it, I just sound monotoned, like I want to die, basically, basically the same thing I sound like today, I just, uh, you know, woke up, so I'm going to sound pretty goddamn monotoned, but, but you know what, it's okay, after this, I'm going to edit the video, go over to college, you know, if you guys go to college, don't go to college. You know, just be homeless. Be homeless is the way to go here. Uh, so, anyways, you know, just good shit right there. But we're already halfway to our goal here. I'm probably just going to buying them because I do have a decent amount of flux on me. And I honestly don't want to sit here and just mine sunlight bulbs because it's not really that entertaining. I mean, it's not hard. If you guys are actually trying to, like, shoot them and stuff like that to make go by faster. Personally, I just ride on shit with a mount because uh, you get the 90 movement speed. And you also don't have to, like, waste your time aiming and shit like that. You can just keep sprinting in one direction. And it's pretty simple stuff, you know, it's like child's play, okay? But um, sometimes when you also go into these sunlight bulbs, which I'm lagging, you can run around here and sometimes there's a, a, like an entrance going down underneath the sunlight bulb and you can get even more. There's like 30 down there or 40. But, of course, while I'm recording, there's not going to be absolute diddly down there and I can't, you know, find anything. So we're going to head over to a new sunlight bulb now. Almost done, but Jesus Christ. So speaking of today's live stream, I will be live streaming, uh, like I said, Warframe. 
and uh, Trove. I'm going to be switching on and off, so if you guys are interested, just like I said, hop into the stream, check it out, you know, say say you're there, it's all good shit, and then we'll, uh, you know, it'll be a fun good time, it'll be a fun good time. I'm going to be streaming Leo and my other friend, and it's going to be fun, and uh, also, I'm probably going to do Shadow Tower carries later on today, if I do, like, I'm going to end up playing Trove, but um, when I do play trove i'm um, probably gonna end up doing a shadow tower carries or do shadow towers with the subscribers or anything like that it's just because you know it's all good shit right um if you follow the channel i'll probably do a run with you as well or if like you know i don't even really know what i want to do there's, there's so much different shit you can actually do and uh, i'll probably just help all you guys out and stuff like that and then you know maybe i'll level up my knight finally maybe you guys will give the, me the courage to actually want to level up my knight that would be impressive okay because i do not want to fucking do that but it's the underground tunnel I was talking about. Of course, I need three more sunlight bulbs. Hopefully, there's a plant up top. I don't think it could be any louder outside if it could if it could fucking try to be. Here we go up here. We got a golden wall going in the chat. Hell yeah. All right, so we need three more sunlight bulbs here, and we can move on. All right, beautiful right here. I missed this whole little fucking piece. Gorgeous. So now I have, like, over 200 sunlight bulbs. I think I already had, like, 1,000 in general, but, you know, it's fine. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Craft a shimmering sun silk. The sunlight bulbs can be crafted into this. Okay, the Wheel of Seasons in the hub or cornerstone. Okay, well, your boy Swan already has the hookup, okay, at the club. So we'll go to the club right now, check out what this thing looks like, and it's probably going to click shit. I don't even know what the hell this actually is, but let's we'll see what we got. We're only six minutes into the video, so I mean, we can't really, uh, we're not really overrunning the time here. So beautiful. Let's go over here to the Wheel of Seasons now and see what we got. Wheel of Seasons, and then we can go down to, I'm guessing it's going to be in the winter. I'll fuck myself. Is it summer still? Nope. Spring? Nope. Eternal? Yep. It's right here. Alright, so 200 sunlight bulbs. I have 5,600 sunlight bulbs, and I had to get 200 of these to make this fucking thing. Are you kidding me? I have 5,600 sunlight bulbs, fam. Alright. An organic thread of peerless strength and beauty. Beautiful. I don't even know what the hell that is, honestly. But, I mean, it's there. It's gonna go right into my crafting inventory. So, uh, wow. All right. Defeat Golden Scarabs. Golden Scarabs just spawn in the Highlands. Yeah, that's just common sense as of right there. Highlands Lair holds a special magic that released to enable my transformation. Okay, so we got to go to the Highlands here, which isn't really that bad at all. Just hop into a U7 once again. Uh, I know that I'm over 20k. I can probably hop into a U9, but I really don't feel like doing that because uh, the Gunslinger is extremely squishy and not really good for that farming dungeons. I mean, I could hop on the Knight as of right now and just get some shit done, but I'd rather just haul ass on the... Um, on the gunslinger and just get the shit over with wow we are extremely far away from the highlands biome but it's not that bad we will get over there pretty goddamn soon so i'll be right back all right guys if you go to like this kind of these kind of dungeons right here inside of the medieval highlands they usually spawn in here or you're gonna get the worms this one is the worm of course as soon as i need one for a video not even gonna destroy the chest because we do not need them but basically any dungeon that's inside of the medieval highlands biome has a small chance to actually spawn the golden scarab um i think maybe inside of the large like the castle dungeon i'm pretty sure that uh, one spawns like the second phase of the dungeon but i'm not too sure about that this one is a mushroom so we have to keep going here and find five of these goddamn golden scarabs hopefully this one over here has one so i can show you guys what they actually look like uh oh this guy oh yes yes please make me ban our arcs mine looks like fucking shit right now i used a ghetto ass program so there we go yes beautiful all right so head down here now i'm pretty sure that's gonna spawn down here you know i'm using my swan senses and uh there it is right there. Beautiful. Look at that. The swan sense is coming at your lip, boys. You don't get this kind of uh, expertise anywhere else, okay? You, you just don't. It's just not possible. But they also spawn at the very top of these dungeons. Like I said, basically every single dungeon that spawns inside of the medieval highlands biome, they actually spawn a golden scarab, which is pretty dope. There's one right there as well. One hit that bad boy. I'm pretty sure that I do not... I'm pretty sure there's not one that spawns in there, so I'm not even going to try going to a large dungeon. But there can also be one that spawns in here, unless it's going to be the mushroom guy as well, which it very well could be the mushroom guy, because I'm pretty sure it is. Let me see. Oh, it's a cursed skull, actually, so I will fuck myself to a new dimension over here. That is not what I expected. That that came out of nowhere. Jesus Christ. Alright, so not that cancer is finally over with. That took about 10 minutes to actually find the five golden beetles that you actually need. So now after that, the third, the third part of the mission is you have to craft 50 bombs. Now, I don't think you can buy these to actually get count, have the bombs count. I don't know what the fuck that was. Have the bombs count. <coughs> Rest in peace. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to be able to actually craft a few of them because I was mining a little bit. So here we go. That's not the right thing. Bombs. We can make 11. Well, we can make 44. Beautiful. Okay. So we just need a couple more flames now. So we can just go over here now for the flame. And they're probably going to be extremely overpriced because anytime there's something inside of the marketplace that you need to actually buy, uh, yeah, it's extremely overpriced. 6,000, not that bad. Beautiful right there. Gems, no, that's not what I want. Bombs, beautiful. 
Just craps, craft an absolute fuck ton of these bombs because I need them anyways. Uh, might as well just go ball out. I mean, why not? Flux is just flux, honestly. So there we go. So next up, you have to complete 33 star or complete 23 star dungeons. I do not have time for this shit today, okay? All right, guys. So for the uh, complete 23 star dungeons, it's actually extremely easy. I was doing normal dungeons inside like a U7 world, and then Strike Master 21 told me that you can just farm normal Spike Walker since it does count as a large dungeon. As you guys can see at the very top of the map on the little map. Uh, it's actually a large dungeon, and you can just farm a normal spike walker. Uh, that one is appears to be the fastest because it's just three drop down floors and then the boss. So I mean, if you guys you can do it by yourself, obviously you can one hit. I guarantee almost 90% of the things that are in there. Uh, the boss, you know, might ha might struggle a little bit if you like you're really low power rank, like one to two thousand. But if you're you know pretty high up there, like you know seventeen thousand, eighteen thousand up in the up around there, you should be able to one hit everything in there. And barely get this done very quickly. I got all the three star dungeons that I need in a matter of about six minutes, so that's really easy as well. But as we're loading in here right now, we're gonna go kill Spike Walker and then finish this off, and then we are done with this mission. There we go, and boom, and dead. Beautiful, right? So there we go, and now all I have to do is mine Infinium. That's pretty simple as well. If you guys don't know how to do this, what we have to do is go to a Candoria Club or the Candoria World, which I'm pretty sure is a U2 biome. I'll double check that for you guys as of right now. Um, you will find mass amounts of infinium, especially since today is Tuesday. If you guys, if you guys are watching this video on a Tuesday, um, since since it is on a Tuesday, you also get like double infiniums that you mine because it is mining day. So that's really good shit as well. Don't know what the hell happened to my head, but I mean, <clears throat> that's that's something. Okay, there we go. That's, I don't know where all these fucking green portals came from. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's a U2. Let me double check. Yep, Kandorian World. Now this world or the air biomes spawn infinium the most and the most frequently um if you guys are going for infinium mine this week i suggest either going inside of an air biome or going inside of a u2 biome because it just mass amounts of shit that spawn here i'll show you guys in just a second what i mean but as of right now we're going going to go back over to the night because you know night's fucking op right where we going over here all right beautiful so uh, let's go over here and check it out now i do have a bunch of bombs you guys should have a bunch of bombs left over from actually crafting them earlier on inside of the mission or not the mission like the quest line so if you do then you can just go in here and mine a bunch of infinium as you can see there's a vein right here beautiful like that i already got 30 40 okay and then you go over here and there's another vein right here this is really going to take like 30 seconds of your time very quick mission uh there we go destroy all of this and i already have 86 so one more vein and i will be done so let's see how far away another vein is from that one all right so after flying around for about another minute we find this huge like underpass over here with a bunch of infinium inside of it so that's really good shit as well so we'll finish this up right now and see what our next mission is hopefully it's not too much of a pain in the ass 10,000 or 1,000 blocks that's extremely easy so with the leftover bombs you get from actually with your infinium or from actually completing this uh, quest line with leftover bombs just destroy everything around you very simple stuff as you can see i'm already on my way to a thousand like jesus christ that was actually extremely quick and boom now all i have to do is kill 350 enemies now that's not too bad at all that is a decent amount of enemies but also i don't think it matters and it's also the last quest you actually have to do so all i have to do is kill 350 enemies and you will be done that's all you gotta do, and you get the Radiant Butterfly. The Sun-Touched Shimmerwing is nearly ready to emerge, but the darker den denizens of Trove have sensed her growing power and soon and could soon find her hiding place. You must drive them back or she'll never be safe. Prepare yourself in the greater world. I'm pretty sure you can li literally kill anything, and it'll count towards this. Enemies, yeah. So you can run around, kill 350 enemies. It's very simple stuff here. It's all you gotta do, and you will be done with this, and you will be on your way to your brand new Radiant Butterfly. So, that's going to be really cool as well. I'm not going to be completing it inside of this video, but I will complete it. And I will um, have it inside the thumbnail. So, if you guys are wondering what it looks like, it will be inside the thumbnail. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, as always, hit the like button down below because it helps me out a lot. Tune into the stream later if you want. Like I said, twitch twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Professor Snowman. Same name as my actual YouTube name itself. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Trove content like this. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. And stay frost, everybody.